1v1 tournament. So first off, congratulations on that. My first question has to be, how does it feel to be able to call yourself the king of the 1v1? So first, thank you for winning this world champion, and the champion of the world champion. And I want to ask you, you have to say you are the champion of the world champion. What do you want to say? I'm very happy because I can't win in the competition. It's the first time I haven't done it for a long time. Well, Wuzi hasn't been able to win a championship in a long time. So he's very happy that he's finally got a chance to win a title for himself. And you did it in glorious fashion with a 2-0 victory here. Now, I myself, as a host, was pushed to my limits. I'm losing my voice, but my question to you is, were you pushed to your limits as a player? Were you tested in your strength in this 1v1 tournament? So, he, as a host, was pushed to his limits, and he was pushed to his limits. And as a host, you were pushed to your limits. Do you think this game has not pushed you to your limits? I think it's already been done, because when I was playing, I was thinking about it. 很多很多的方法去赢比赛，然后真的是非常的艰难吧。It definitely uh beats my limit, and he actually put a lot of thoughts into ban picks and how to win the games, and it's very stressful for him, and he's very happy that he won. All right, well you can walk away confident and happy in the victory. Of course, with this victory, Team Ice also has put a close to the tournament. Team Ice is officially the All-Star champions as a team. So on behalf of your team, is there anything you'd like to say to the audience or the people at home? So this championship is finished, the team has won the champion of the team. So I want to ask you, as a member of the team, do you want to say anything about the team of the team? 非常的开心，然后很感谢来到现场和看直播的粉丝们，谢谢你们。Thank you everyone very much. Thank for everyone that's watching online, watch on the stream, and for the fans that come out to the stadium. It's very happy. Thank, and I would like to thank everyone. And while Team Ice may have claimed victory here with this 1v1, we still have three more games to play. Do you think that because the tournament is over and you've secured victory, that maybe there will be more fun picks, some more crazy things happening in the remaining games of the day? So, if you've already won the champion, what are your plans for the next three games? Are you able to really play it and not worry about winning? Yes, I will. And I will also try to win the championship. Yeah, definitely, he'll pick some fun champions, but meanwhile, he still wanted to win the games. All right, well, you heard it here. Some more fun picks coming. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, your 1v1 champion, Uzi. <laughs> and with that, we're going to head back up to the desk to close out the day. Well, thank you. Not yet the day, but at least the 1v1 tournament, a fantastic champion indeed. And I, I don't think I've ever seen him smile that much ear to ear. He said it himself. That title is still very important, important even though it is all-star and it's not the most serious tournament in the world. You saw that he put his heart and soul into that. Yeah, it just made me smile watching that interview. I mean, Uzi smiling like he was like cold steel on stage. Like he didn't blink. He was just focused on trying to get that win. And as he said, he put so much thought into those picks and bands. The casters were talking about the runes and the masteries, everything he was doing doing he had down to a T and it was just fantastic to see him play it out. Yeah, I mean, um, even though All-Stars is All-Stars, I think the one-on-one tournament is uh, full serious mode for pretty much